Hi, I'm Carson Kendall. I'm a senior and I play soccer at High Point University. I first started participating in soccer competitively, I guess, when I was about five years old. Uh, I just moved from Arizona to the Virgin Islands and uh, my parents wanted me to be involved with somebody that I would make friends with and uh, soccer was a perfect fit. I was 15 when I got my first call up to play with the, the men's national team. Obviously, I went there more as just like a like trip, like, hey, we're going to show you what it's like to be with like the big guys and stuff like that. I was on the bench, and I think I got like five minutes inside of the last part of the game or something like that. But um, so I did that, and then throughout there, they, they've uh, groomed me and helped me become a better player. And uh, my national team coach, along with my mom and my dad, all came together and diverged the plan for me to move to the States and uh, be a part of uh, Sporting Kansas City and the MLS, uh, their academy. So I moved. Once I, once I realized I was doing that and I got uh, picked up by that team, I realized, hey, maybe there's a chance that I could play in college and maybe even play pro after. He's got a save, and I don't think he knew anything about it. That ball clipped in. I've been playing with the U.S. Virgin Islands national team for a, a little bit now, and uh, obviously the window came for, for Nations League, and it matched up perfectly with my soccer schedule. I just moved to Cincinnati at this time to play Summer League. My Summer League coach was more than happy to send me off on it, and uh, I was more than prepared with uh, the season we just had with High Point and the spring season and things like that. So they reached out to me, asked me if I was available, got the call up, and I, uh, I went down there. Uh, after a few pre-camps in Miami and everything to train, I went down there for the tournament flew to Curacao, then back to the Virgin Islands, and back to the Curacao, and back to the Virgin Islands in a, in a whirlwind of a couple weeks. But um, it was definitely an exciting, exciting opportunity. And it was, um, it was really humbling to be able to captain my country for the first time as well. So uh, it, was, it was a very proud moment for me. It felt like almost, not the conclusion, but the culmination of like years and years of hard work to get to that point and to be able to, to, to be said to be a leader of the team is, is definitely something super special to me. High Point and me uh, ended up connecting and I came out here on an official visit and I loved it from the first day I was here. I mean obviously you look around, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful place, but the people themselves, it just seems like they could care more about you than really anyone else in the country. Like our coaching staff, our people in our locker room, our players, all the staff around us as well, they just seem like they truly care for the, the person as not only an athlete but as an individual. And I just felt like this was the right place for me to come and grow and become a better person, a better version of myself when I left. So I, I felt like it was going to mold me into something greater than I was when I first came. So my major is a marketing major and I have a minor in sales. Um, I'd love to pursue soccer professionally, that would be a hope and a goal, but if that doesn't work out, I'd love to go into international uh, marketing. I'd, I'd love to travel, love to experience new cultures, so something like that would be super, super exciting and just being able to experience new things is always, uh, always something on the bucket list, so hopefully something like that pans out.